Ancient relics are not only a gateway to the past, but they may even hold the answers to some of the most exciting and outlandish legends that exist to this day. There are many people out there who are still looking for these answers. While some have never made it close, recently, there have been some findings that even modern science can't decipher. Do these discoveries actually lie within the canals of human history or beyond? You can decide as we reveal to you the 10 most mysterious artifacts. Mysterious Viking Sword On a large island of Zealand in eastern Denmark, two amateur archaeologists were visiting and brought along their metal detector while going on a stroll through a field. While on their treasure hunting adventure, their metal detector alarm went off and the two made a startling discovery. While digging into the earth, about a foot down, they uncovered what appeared to be the end of a sword. Thinking it might be a discovery of considerable evidence, they decided to get an expert out there with them, reburied it, and then returned the next day with the museum inspector. Together, they unearthed an incredible, well-preserved sword that is around 3,000 years old, back to a time predating the Vikings by 1,000 years. The sword was so well-preserved that you could see the fine details and it was still sharp. The interesting thing is that this sword has remained untouched since the Nordic Bronze Age, which was between 1100 to 900 BC. Turns out that this sword was more of a status symbol for its owner rather than a weapon of war. Still, it's a very cool find. Mysterious 13th Century Sword Inscription this 13th century sword was discovered in 1825 at the bottom of Rither Witham in Lincolnshire and is believed that it must have belonged to a medieval knight. Little is known about the actual sword, including the 18-letter inscription running down the middle of the blade. Recently, the British Library, where the sword is currently on display, has reached out to the public in order to hopefully crowdsource an answer. And that answer varies greatly depending on who you ask. For word experts, they claim that the words are abbreviations and stand for something longer. Swordsmen, on the other hand, claim that it might have been an everyday sword and that the inscription is in a weird place. With that, some think that it could be some kind of serial number showing when and where it was made. Some Bible conspiracy theorists say that when you add up the Roman numerical values in the 18-digit code, it equals 1632 a symbolically significant number as it relates to the number 7. No one is sure what it means, but if you or someone you know has an idea, let us know in the comments. The Ancient Chinese Sword The ancient sword that defied time. Some 50 years ago, a sword was discovered in a tomb in China. Despite being well over 2,000 years old, the sword, known as Gujian, was discovered without any rust on its blade and even drew blood from the archaeologists who touched the tip, meaning the sword still had its edge. The blade was made with such high quality and detail that the sword did not seem to belong to its time. The sword of Gujian is one of the earliest known Jian swords, a double-edged straight sword used during the last 2,500 years in China. In folklore, these swords are known as Gentlemen of Weapons, along with the staff, spear, and saber. The blade is 1.8 inches wide and measures 21.9 inches long. The hilt adds another 3.3 inches in overall length and weighs 31 ounces. This relic has been found to have significant historical value and many scholars and smiths have wondered just how a blade could have survived two millennia in a humid environment without a speck of rust. Researchers analyzed the bronze shards and found that the sword's resistance was a result of sulfation on its surface. Further testing also showed that the swordsmiths of Wu and Yu regions in southern China during the spring and autumn period reached such a high level of metallurgy that they were able to incorporate rust-proof alloys into their blades, helping them survive the ages relatively unblemished a feat only known by the Far East at this time. The Spear of Destiny In the Bible, the Holy Lance, known better as the Spear of Destiny, is the lance that pierced the side of Jesus while he was hung on the cross. There are many extra-biblical stories that speak of what happened to the spear afterward. And today, 
there are three to four major relics that have been discovered that claim to be parts of the Holy Lance. The Holy Lance that is preserved in Rome, but is missing its tip, sits beneath the dome of St. Peter's Basilica, although the Catholic Church makes no claim as to its authenticity. There is also a fully preserved Spear of Destiny in Vienna, Austria, in the Imperial Treasury, which was transferred over to the Worldly Treasure Room in the spring of 1796 as the French Revolution approached to Nuremberg in Germany. There is one more holy lance preserved in the religious capital of Armenia, and a few claimed knockoffs in Krakow, Poland. But the only lance that has undergone testing is the one in Vienna, and although the metal is consistent with other findings, the connection to the time of the 1st century AD has been ruled out. Antikythera Mechanism This mechanism was found below 148 feet of water in the Antikythera shipwreck off Point Glyphadia on the Greek island of Antikythera in 1901. At the time of its discovery, it was found with many other bronze and marble artifacts, and when excavated, the mechanism was dismissed as just another lump of corroded bronze and wood and went unnoticed for two years. Once archaeologist Valerio Staiz started examining this lump, he noticed that there was a gear wheel embedded inside of it. Initially, he believed it must have been part of an astronomical clock, but other scholars thought it to be prochronistic, meaning that it was too advanced and complex to have been constructed during the same time period as the other artifacts, and current X-ray and gamma-ray images prove this. The Antikythera mechanism is considered to be the first known analog computer. It seems that its construction relied on astronomic and mathematical theories developed by Greek astronomers during the 2nd century BC, and has been estimated to have been built as early as the 1st century BC. Roman Sword Discovered Off of Oak Island Oak Island is just off the south shore of Nova Scotia, Canada, and it's rumored that the notorious pirate Captain Kidd's treasure was buried there. Other treasure hunters say that various religious artifacts, manuscripts, and even Marie Antoinette's jewels ending up on its eerie landscape. But recently, astonishing discoveries have been made on this island such as this ancient Roman sword found in the shallows, suggesting that ancient European mariners had visited North America more than a thousand years before Christopher Columbus. A shipwreck was found off the island, and within the wreck, a well-preserved Roman ceremonial sword was discovered. The sword has undergone various forms of analysis, including X-ray fluorescent testing, and has been verified by the Roman Antiques Authority as a gladiator ceremonial votive sword. The results found the same arsenic and lead signature in the metal of the sword, down to the atomic level of those found in other ancient Roman artifacts. Interestingly, the sword was also found to have magnetic qualities, causing it to point true north, a navigational feature built into some of the swords of the era through the use of lodestones. There is a lot of skepticism to this discovery, as it was found by two brothers who not only own the island in partnership, but also have a TV show based on treasure hunting on the island. There is a lot of controversial story as to how the sword was found, and why it took a few decades for their discovery to be revealed. So, is it for real or fake? We'll let you decide. 1,000-year-old Viking sword in extraordinary condition discovered in Ireland. At the historic site of the former Beamish and Crawford Brewery in Cork City, Ireland, a 1,000-year-old Viking weaver's sword was discovered in pristine condition, an artifact that archaeologists say has exceptional significance. This sword is about 12 inches in length, features carved human faces, known as Ringerike, a style of Viking art that dates back as far as the 11th century and is made exclusively out of yew trees. The sword appears to have been used primarily by women for day-to-day -day tasks, such as hammering threads into place on looms where the point end is for picking up the threads for pattern making. What makes this finding so significant for archaeologists is that for a long time, it was believed that Vikings primarily influenced Dublin and Waterford, but the entire array of evidence shows that Cork was in that same structural sphere, and its development was very similar. 
Of course, there have been many swords discovered that are perhaps older and may be in better condition, but none of them 1,000 years or older are exclusively made out of wood. Medieval Sword Pulled from Polish Bog It's hard to say what might have happened to this sword 600 years ago. Perhaps the knight fell into the water or simply dropped his sword into a peat-filled bog. Whatever the case may be, this sword was found extremely well-preserved nearly two years ago in the town of Rubishov, Poland, by a construction worker who was draining that exact same body of water. This two-handed weapon may have been typical for the 13th to the 14th century, but it is a unique find to this particular region. This region was part of the Kingdom of Poland in 1366, where a castle was built by a Polish governor, a castle that would have been a source of employment for knights. However, the location of the bog has not been disclosed. The sword, nearly four feet in length, would have weighed three pounds at the time it was made. No identity has been found of the previous owner, but an isosceles cross in the shape of a heraldic shield on the sword's rear bar serves as the mark of the blacksmith who forged the blade. The mark would have been covered by the hilt at the time. The sword has since been sent to Warsaw for further evaluation and renovation and is now on display in Rubishal. Thor's Hammer Discovered in Iceland In Fursardulur, Iceland, a rare sandstone amulet was found in an unexplored area of a once Viking-era farmstead. This is the first ever amulet found to be shaped like Thor's Hammer in all of Iceland. And it wasn't the only item found at the site either. There was also a whetstone, which is used for sharpening blades, an iron pick, and a buckle. The hammer of Thor is an important symbol in ancient mythology. During the Viking era, miniature versions were worn as religious amulets to honor their deity. About 50 specimens of these amulets have been found throughout Scandinavia, where Norse gods were widely honored between the 9th and 11th century. This hammer is depicted as one of the most fearsome and powerful weapons in existence, capable of leveling mountains and generating destructive and powerful storms. We hope you enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments which one of these was most interesting to you. And if you liked the video, please click the shiny red subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.